How many times does Stetson Bennett have to teach you this lesson, Eric Ainge? Eric Ainge is a local radio host in Knoxville, Tennessee. He hosts the Eric Ainge Show. So Eric Ainge called Stetson Bennett a punk on his radio show today. It is January 3rd, 2023. And this isn't the first time that Georgia fans have heard Eric Ainge's name this season. They haven't heard his name in a long time uh, until this year, more than likely, unless they live in Knoxville and are uh, scrolling through the, the radio dial on their way to another station. So Eric Ainge today made the comment that he can't – well, he, he started to say he can't stand Stetson Bennett. I included a link to the audio in this YouTube video's um, episode description, so you can go listen to it yourself. I'm not going to include it here because I don't own the copyright distribution rights to it, and I don't want Eric Ainge to sue us or for his employer to sue us, but you can go um, listen to the link. It's on Spotify in this show's episode description. It is at the 25-minute 43 second mark what i can do is i can read what he said and i'll read the quote of what he said so y'all can hear it from me and my interpretation of it and yeah i'll probably interject a little bit of my opinion as well if you want to hear it straight from the source you can go listen to it you probably already read it already all right you know who i can't stand though stetson bennett it was cute when he first got to play and played pretty good and now the whole like, I'm a walk on, I'm a Juco transfer, you know, things that Stetson Bennett says all the time about himself. Every time I hear Stetson Bennett talk, he says, you know, I'm a walk on, Juco transfer, in case you hadn't heard. Uh, Ainge goes on to say, he's like 28 and three as a starter at Georgia or something like that. I believe that's accurate. Uh, Eric Ainge played four years at Tennessee. He won 30 games, so he'll always have that over Stetson Bennett. I don't know if that's his record as a starter, but that's his record playing for the Vols. Uh, I think he went 30 and 13, okay? So he'll always have that over Stetson's head. He beat Georgia three times when Tennessee uh, played against the Dogs. So uh, Eric Ainge has a little bit of a, of a right to criticize Stetson Bennett's performance as a player and to hate Georgia. This is the SEC. It just means more. OK, uh, I know there's no love lost between Tennessee fans and Georgia fans. This isn't what this is about, though. <laughs> this is not this is not about I'm a Tennessee guy. I don't like Georgia. This is about something else. But I'm going to continue reading what he said. Uh, so Ainge goes on to say, I'm cheering hard against him. And this is when it gets good. I want Georgia not to just lose the game. I don't want them to lose with Stetson Bennett throwing four touchdowns. I want Stetson Bennett to throw four picks and cost his team a championship. He's such a punk. And he goes on, he, he almost says, I can't stand him. So that tells me a lot, man. This is, this is personal for Eric Ainge. And I don't know Stetson Bennett. I don't have to defend him. I don't have to stick up for him. He's carved his own legacy. He's his own dude. He might be a punk. I don't, I don't know. I don't know if he's a punk or not. I do know that Stetson Bennett is a freaking winner. And that's what he's done for Georgia. That's what he did in the Peach Bowl. That's what he did in the SEC championship game. That's what he did in the national championship game. You can say that the defense carried him last season. The defense didn't throw that go-ahead touchdown to A.D. Mitchell in, uh, in the national championship. Defense didn't really help him out a whole hell of a lot against Ohio State. So these narratives about Stetson Bennett, they are what they are. I don't know anything about the guy personally, okay? I'm sure he is kind of cocky. I'm sure he's got an edge. I'm sure if you're not a Georgia fan, you're probably a little jaded too. You're probably tired of hearing this narrative about Stetson Bennett. I understand that. Dogs fans, whether he wins or loses this game against uh, TCU in the national championship, he's one of the greatest Georgia Bulldogs of all time, the greatest quarterback of all time. And if he wins this national championship, he's the greatest Georgia Bulldog of all time. There's no mincing any of those words. And that's what everybody already knows about him. He might annoy you. The story might annoy you. It's probably a drinking game. It's the Matthew Stafford 
Clayton Kershaw drinking game every time someone says that Stetson Bennett's story is a movie. I understand the fatigue on that. But, man, if you're a radio host in a rival college football town and your career doesn't sniff the socks of the guy that you're calling a punk, Eric Ainge, I'm afraid that says a lot more about you, man, than it says about who Stetson Bennett is, whether or not he's a punk, your personal feelings on the matter, and your co-host, I don't know who he is. Everybody is uh, very con very convinced that Stetson Bennett is going to go on and sell insurance after his college football career. For some reason, that is the uh, the career path choice for Stetson Bennett. I don't know what his major is. Learning design and technology. I don't know what that is. No clue. I don't think it was available for me. If I would have tried to take that, they probably would have laughed me out of the building. If it's even in a building, it's probably on a computer somewhere. But um, that's where Eric Ainge is. That's the only place where he has relevancy right now is on your computer, on your phone for the next five minutes to Stetson Bennett. He has relevancy for the five seconds uh, that he might see it scrolling on his Instagram feed because he follows Dogs HQ and we share the quote over there. So uh, while that's where Eric Ainge has relevancy for a few more minutes today, uh, for the few minutes where he said that Sanford Stadium wasn't loud and that the uh, unde <laughs> unbeatable, unquestionably overrated Tennessee Volunteers would have no problem playing. He had to apologize about that, by the way, uh, because he was wrong. And Tennessee learned it after Kirby Smart asked Georgia's fans to be loud. They were, and they were a lot louder than Eric Ainge remembers them in a different era of Georgia football. If I'm Eric Ainge, man, I don't know. This is embarrassing. It's pretty embarrassing. And uh, the fact that he clearly envies Stetson Bennett, I guess, makes him what, what the kids a few years ago called a, just a classic hater. Eric Ainge was an MVP in the 2008 Outback Bowl. Love a blooming onion, man. But uh, it's not as good as an Orange Bowl MVP. It's not as good as an SEC championship game MVP, a national championship game MVP, a Peach Bowl MVP. They don't serve blooming onions there. So, congrats, Eric Ainge. Another thing that you can hold over Stetson Bennett. More blooming onions.